Hi, I'm Brian Kuhn. You're watching Your Future, Your Finances. We're continuing our conversation with Mike Thomas of Lighthouse Insurance. Welcome back, Mike. Thank you, Brian. So as we went into uh, a break, we were talking about something called an umbrella policy. Tell me, what is that? Sure. An umbrella policy is just like it sounds. It sits over top of your home. It can sit over top of your auto, motorcycles, boat, rental properties, mm -hmm. any other toys you may have. An umbrella gives you an extra layer of liability protection mm -hmm. over and above your standard coverage on your homeowner's policy or your auto policy or your boat. Mm -hmm. Generally, it comes in increments of a million dollars, and it's, a, it's an inexpensive way to give you peace of mind, help you sleep well at night. Mm -hmm. If there are certain, certain clients that we recommend them to everybody, mm -hmm. we make, make sure that every client is aware of it. Certain clients, we may push them a little harder, the importance of it, the value of it. If you have a young driver, for example, uh, we talked a little while ago that they're more likely to have an accident. Mm -hmm. okay? The umbrella will help protect if there is a, an accident. If a house has a swimming pool, there is, you know, fun, fun goes to a pool, but, yeah. you know, there's, there's issues with having a pool as well, mm -hmm. and they're more likely to have some type of a slip and fall, an accident, et cetera, at a, at a backyard swimming pool. We recommend them for people that have pools, someone that has maybe a couple rental properties. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't control what happens at your rental property, mm -hmm. but if something happens at that property, they may go after the tenant that lives there, but ultimately they're going to go after the owner of that property as well. This is a way of protecting the, the landlord and owner of that property. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a way of putting a, another layer of protection between you and the public should there be mm -hmm. a major accident, accident to help protect your assets. And it's not a given that you would have one, I guess, if you have homeowners and car insurance. You have to have to work with someone or, or know that you have one. I that mean, is correct. There's yeah. a, a separate policy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some ways people can save uh, on all of this type of coverage? The first way to save money with your home and or auto insurance is what we call bundling them together. Mm -hmm. If you have your home and auto insurance with the same company, mm -hmm. that alone gets you a pretty nice discount. On the auto side, it can give you anywhere from a 10 to a 20% discount. On the homeowner side, it could give you anywhere from a 15 to even a 30% discount. Some companies will also, if you have that umbrella that we've been talking about, will even throw in an extra 5 or 10% 5 discount if you have an umbrella with the same company as well. It's mm -hmm. a nice way of packaging everything together to save yourself quite a bit of money. We even see it where the umbrella is almost paid for mm -hmm. in the discount between the home <laughs> and the auto. Mm -hmm. Another way to save money is deductibles. Okay. The higher a deductible, the lower the premium. Mm -hmm. In this day and age, on a homeowner's example, if it's under $1,000 worth of damage, it's probably not in the homeowner's best interest to submit that as a claim. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to submit it as a claim, we suggest raising your deductible to save on your premium. That way, that extra money goes in your pocket versus paying the insurance company. Yeah. Uh, the same can be said on your auto insurance. Uh, the higher the deductible will also save, save on your premium. The average person replaces a windshield about once every seven years. Mm. Seven years is a long time. Yeah. Some people don't even keep their cars for seven years. Yeah. If you have a higher deductible, the money that you're saving can almost pay for that windshield every seven years. And this way, it's not a claim on your policy, mm -hmm. and you're, you're keeping the money uh, you know, with you instead. I'm sure you can find something else to spend your money <laughs> versus giving it to the insurance company. Yeah. Those are two big aspects of, of mm -hmm. how to save. A third aspect that's relatively new to the market, uh, Erie Insurance is one of the few companies that has it right now. It's called Rate Lock, mm -hmm. and that's on, on the auto product, mm -hmm. and it will lock in your auto rate for the foreseeable future. Hmm. It will only change if one of three things happen. If you change a dress, if you change a driver, or if you change a vehicle, which are three fairly common things that you would expect your rates to change if one of those things were to occur. Mm -hmm. It's a nice way to, for budgeting purposes, if you know I'm paying a thousand dollars, I know that I can budget that, that it's not going to change. Mm -hmm. It also protects you from rate increases. 
or any type of surcharge that you may get for having an accident or maybe a couple tickets on your on your driving record. Yeah. So those are interesting ways to save, especially that uh, that last one there. That's that's good. So how often should somebody check in with someone like yourself? We suggest at least an annual checkup or review mm -hmm. is good for every client. That being said, as an independent agent, you know we're there for you. Mm -hmm. uh, we have different companies that that we represent, and we have a way of we can look around to see is there something better out there for you. If you're looking at purchasing a car, you're you're down to two or three choices. You know, give your agent a call. Let them they can give you pros and cons of maybe which one is That's a little more mm -hmm. little cheaper for you to insure, mm -hmm. which one does better from crash test standings, mm. uh, which holds better in a in a in an accident. Mm -hmm. uh, we have several clients that will call us if they need a new roof mm -hmm. or if they need some plumbing work done. You know, the your your agent is in touch with a lot of people and can can help with kind of putting people with other clients that uh, that have you know that can help solve their needs. Mm -hmm. If you're if you finish your basement, mm -hmm. contact your agent. Let them know I just finished my basement. Do I need to adjust anything? If you put a pool in your backyard, contact Certainly. your agent. Let them know if, if there's <laughs> yeah. something that that you need to you know to account for. If you add a deck off of your your house, if you add an addition, any mm -hmm. type of change you make to your house, it's probably that's a good idea or good reason. Mm -hmm. Contact your agent. They, there may be nothing that you need to do, mm -hmm. but this way you're kind of proactive and the agent has a better way of being able to help you make mm -hmm. sure that you are properly covered if and when you have a claim. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. And actually, Erie does uh, apparently life insurance as well. They have a whole portfolio there. Uh, we'll have to come back and talk a little bit more about that. Appreciate all the information. I uh, hope everybody out there in the audience learns a few things, a few takeaways. Uh, once again, you're watching Your Future, Your Finances. Uh, today we were talking with Mike Thomas of Lighthouse Insurance. If you have any questions or ideas for the show, email questions at yfyfshow.com. And we appreciate it. Thanks for watching.